Hello everyone, Joe from Central Jersey Conrail and Scale. So it's uh, Thursday, February 28th, last day of the month. Uh, it's uh, 4.21 in the afternoon. So I just spent the afternoon here uh, finishing up running the WJSA 31 uh, and filming it. Uh, that was a great uh, run. I had a lot of fun doing it. A couple little hiccups I'll talk about in the video. Um, otherwise, yeah, very happy with the way it ran. Um, so that means that uh, starting April 1st, uh, the serials will kick off. Uh, all the videos have been uploaded, loaded, and done, with the exception of the SA31. I got to do that. And then uh, this weekend, I'll get to doing the Yard Ops video. And uh, hopefully, sometime next week, uh, be able to get some time to do the, um, the Rail Fan video, which will wrap out the series. I believe it'll start in April or to July. August, September, sometime October. So it'll be April to October time frame. The, the serials will be running. So that'll give me time to uh, prepare for the next series. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's it's progressing along very nicely and it uh, feels good to be back with doing operations and making videos again. So sometime next week, maybe the week after, depending on how the filming goes, uh, that's when I'll get over. I think what I'm going to do for uh, March is going to be, we're going to do the... Um, uh, the, the Sarahville run, uh, running track area with all the details and, and all that. So I'll be creating a video with that. Yeah, that was the uh, track cleaning train running through. Uh, just took the opportunity to get it out and let it run uh, while I'm just doing video and cleaning up here. Uh, there's some dirty spots and just need to be tended to. So uh, back to what I was saying over in Sarahville, I got some great ideas. Uh, we're going to be doing a, um, we're gonna do another one of those Fusey circuits over there on uh, Bordentown Avenue right there at the crossing. Uh, we got to do some striping, some poles, some lines. Uh, I'm going to be touching up the forested area there and getting rid of that uh, that little white plaster along the uh, the base. That's kind of driving me crazy. Put some fencing up over at MUA. Uh, people, uh, I got a lot of uh, figures to put out. Also, I got to deal with that um, the vent hose for the air um, the spray booth because I'm tired of it hanging there when I'm trying to do pictures and videos. So. Uh, we'll work on that as well. And that silly little white board that's in between behind that always ends up in my pictures. I want to paint that sky color. So, yeah, got a lot of little things to kind of neaten up over there. And uh, we'll make a video and go through and show you how I do all the detail work. And uh, then after that, uh, like get cracking on the uh, track work. Uh, I'm still waiting for my other, to purchase my other Fast Tracks turnout kit for the uh, number six straights. Uh, money's an issue, but I'll uh, figure go ahead and start building the curved ones while I'm ordering that. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to be progressing here in the next couple of weeks as well. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much everything I think that I wanted to update everybody about. Um, I don't know, after this hop series, I'm kind of getting the bug again about these locomotives. I got four of them that don't have sound. Um, I was kind of looking at the new Series 5 Direct Micro for the Legacy Atlas. Yeah, I know I said that probably going to be wrapping up the locomotive shop, but I think here in a couple months I might be starting it back up again because I'm getting the bug to get all the all the locomotives with sound. It just makes it, makes it so much better for operations and, and more realistic. It's more involved, and yeah, so more to come on that. I know I said I was going to wrap up the locomotive shop but we'll see uh it depends on money because those new series five decoders are not cheap we're looking at 99 a piece that's that's quite quite an increase but yeah uh more to come but okay so uh we got another shop video coming out uh next friday not this friday um the layout tour was highly successful uh, if you haven't watched it a lot of people are uh, are commenting how much they liked it so if you haven't seen it already go ahead and check it out uh, it was a lot of fun doing it um and uh yeah so that's what you can expect here over the next couple weeks on the channel so 
All right. Uh, I think that's all I got for you. Uh, thanks, everybody, for all your support and following along. And uh, look for more update videos as I make them. So, all right, everyone. Thanks. Bye.